Uh, welcome to the show, Catherine. Hello, thank you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, now, uh, well, basically tell us the story. I mean, obviously I've read it, but uh, Jack went to a party uh, on March the 2nd. Uh, his phone remained active uh, uh, until 6.44 a.m. There was one phone call by someone. He, uh, he picked the, call, the phone up, said hello, and then was never heard of again. And is there some sort of mysterious CCTV of him as well? You tell us the story, Catherine. Um, OK, well, Jack went out to a party on, on the night of the, the 1st of March, which went until obviously the 2nd of March, um, when he didn't come home that evening. Um, and, you know, we had no reason to be concerned. It was just, a, you know, a, a gathering of people who he'd recently met um, via his studies because he was um, doing a law conversion course in Bristol. Um, so, you know, I had a communication from him at about 10 to 2 telling me where he was and how he intended getting home. And, um, you know, my husband and I went to bed and I woke up at just before half past five in the morning. Um, and I immediately felt something was wrong because um, Jack had never stayed out before um, and certainly not... Uh, not told us where he was or and it was you know um, alarm bells went off for me very quickly um so we you know I immediately rang him um texted him whatsapped him sent messages galore um and obviously we didn't hear anything back um so very quickly we my husband and I got dressed and got into the car and shot off to this address that my phone was kind of telling me he was at. Um, but it was to no avail. There was no nobody there. Um, and basically, um, you know, no sign of him, no ca communication from him. Um, so we, we searched around that area um, ourselves and then went home and immediately phoned the police because even though it, you know, they did tell us you have to wait to report a missing person. I felt immediately there was a problem here. Um, but we weren't able to report him missing um, for a few hours because that's the procedure. OK. Um, and here we are. It's 145 days on and no sign or nobody knows anything, nobody's seen anything. Um, where was the... Uh, Catherine, where was this last... CCTV footage of him. What, what, what was that? That was near the party, or what was that after? Well, or, or is it definitely him? Or yes, I mean I can confirm it's him because I've I've seen um, what the footage you're actually showing yeah. on the screen in front of me now is is the footage I found myself that the police had completely overlooked. Um, I do appreciate it's a very long range angle, and it, you know. But you know that's him. I know. A mother, I, I, a mother knows her son's walk, doesn't it? Doesn't absolutely. She? Yeah. That's it. And and actually, the, the footage you're showing now is oh, it's gone again. Yeah. But um, there's a very significant piece of footage that the police had in their possession on the very first day of Jack being missing. Mm. But they're looking at the wrong angle of the camera. So what they're looking at um, turned out to be the railings and the actual footage of Jack right in front of them. They missed until we were on week 12 of him being missing. How did you find it yourself, this CCTV? Um, well, I, I had alarm bells ringing because um, we, my husband and I would go to the area where we, where we were certain he had been ourselves just to kind of build up a picture in our own mind of, of which way he could have gone, what could have happened. And we came across some police um, on one of our visits um, who were, had been asked to look for CCTV later than what was initially asked for. Well, my immediate question was, why? Why are you looking for later? Surely you've got that. And it became very apparent that only up until a certain time had been collected. Right. Which worried me because I, you know, my limited amount of detective work would surely say, well, we must look for him until the phone goes dead. Right. You know? Yeah. And that hadn't been done. So 
I asked the police repeatedly, could I see the CCTV myself? Um, and I was told, oh, that was unnecessary. <laughs> That's not procedure. You can't do that. But I was very persistent. I must admit, I did keep asking. Well, well quite um, right. <laughs> quite right. Um, and, you know, then to find footage, which I was 100% certain as soon as I saw it, that it was Jack, to be told, no, we don't think that's Jack. You know, I did have grave concerns at that point. Um, and as I say, the, well, the final footage we have, um, to me, is very clear that it is Jack. And, 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 I was told, and what sort of time was that and whereabouts was that? Do you... So that was, uh, well, the exact time of it is 3.39. Mm -hmm. And it is walking up a slip road, um, kind of against the traffic, um, back up on... So on, on the, the shop that you're looking at now, mm -hmm. he, he, he is walking um, on the left-hand side say, of, yeah. of that. Right. Um, and walking along a slip road. Um, and I was told categorically by the police, there is nobody on that footage that appears to be Jack. I mean... That's ridiculous. I saw it and I knew it was Jack. Listen, uh, Catherine, uh, stay with, what I'm going to do now is uh, t tell our audience um, that you have a Facebook page called uh, Find Jack uh, and there's a GoFundMe page uh, and that is called Raising Money to Help Find Jack dash official raising money to help find jack dash official and there's a facebook page called find jack so i urge everyone to uh put some money in for a start and secondly maybe have a look at find jack you never know people might be able to help but uh, you were indicating there catherine that you're less than happy uh with the uh, police's conducting of this case uh avon and somerset police you've lodged a complaint against them uh just try to explain why um, well, you know, we, nobody wants to be in this position, obviously, mm. but our concerns were building with all the mistakes that we were finding out. Um, and we were advised um, to ask for a re-review of, of the case. Um, and we were told then the only way you can get a case re-reviewed is to complain. So we were kind of, I wouldn't say we were completely forced into it, but that's all we were pleading was was for somebody else to cast a set of eyes over some of these grave errors and try and put them right. Um, you know, our biggest problem is the fact that so much time has passed mm -hmm. that, you know, we've lost that precious um, opportunity of people's knowledge, memory, yes. dash cam footage, you know, doorbell sure. footage. Well, uh, um, do you have any, uh, I mean, it's difficult to speculate, do you, do you have any personal theories about what might have happened to him? I, I really, really don't. I mean, you know, I, I'm watching him walk along. He's walking with purpose. I, I know he's attempted to get a taxi um, prior to his setting off on that journey. Um, do, you think he was, feeling... do you think he was trying to walk home then? Or... No, well... By the time we see him walking in the direction he is, I believe that he was heading back to an area that he always took taxis from ah, because see. that was a common place for him. Um, so, you know, we can't find any um, phone knowledge that suggests he tried to book a taxi via an app. Mm. But, you know, that's my, my firm belief was he was trying to, to pick up a car, you know, taxi. To, to, get, if, to get home. Um, to get home. Uh, well, listen, I mean, you know, obviously our hearts go out to you and what a terrible thing to happen to you. But trying to sum up uh, how it's been, how, how you feel, I mean, it must be a living nightmare for you. Yeah, I, I mean, th that's exactly it. it. It's We're in hell, basically. You know, we, we, we get through a day mostly by um, our drive to, to find out what's, what to do next. You know, that is keeping us going at the moment. Um, and, even, you know, the general public, complete strangers are, are really helping us. But it's so hard, you know, we, it's, it's very hard to make sense of the fact that Jack's not here. You know, that, that in itself is, it, it is breaking our hearts. But to know that there's knowledge that, that has been sort of overlooked is, is really compounding it.
Um, so, yeah. listen, listen uh, just just quickly before you go, and we'll, we'll keep in touch. Whatever we can do to help, you know, obviously we're here. Uh, I and mean, we do have some sort of audience, so hopefully somebody might know something. Uh, but just to, before you go, uh, Catherine, it's very kind of you to talk to us, by the way. Uh, just a little bit about Jack. Tell us about what kind of kid he was. Um, well, Jack is um, a very. Yeah, sorry, sorry, my mistake. No, it's fine. I, I, it's from, it's my, my special thing. I do correct everyone. For, for yeah, me, I, I shouldn't have said I'm, that. You're, I'm, you're, you're, you're damn right. You're damn right. Tell no. me what kind of kid Jack is. Jack is, I would say, the most determined, um, obstinate, <laughs> difficult, charming, lovely young man. I mean, if there's a right or a wrong, Jack will do move for hell and earth to get it right um very clever um and a real high achiever but in a very understated way so you know you wouldn't hear him he'd be very quietly in the background taking it all in um but very ambitious um and a, a, a real well a credit to us but a very loving son you know and, and a loving brother so as you can imagine our our world is is not as it was. Oh, that's it's just so awful, and uh, you know, uh, let's you'll, you'll find him. Let's hope you find him. Uh, and, but we will keep in touch, Catherine. As I say, I'll read this out again uh, to everybody. Go to the Facebook, have a look at the Find Jack page. You might be able to help, uh, or the GoFundMe page is called uh, Raising Money to Help Find Jack Dash Official. And tell me uh, what the reward pot is right now, uh, Catherine, if you can. Well, the reward was essentially put in place for information. Um, mm. You know, it's, it's not to me. It feels slightly immoral to ask somebody. To, or to pay someone to, anything to give you. that helps though anything but that we'll, helps. we'll try anything you know it was it was a suggestion and we just said fine if, if that's the advice we'll take it and how you much know, so, so just in case there is somebody out there who wants well, to, who's got information uh, and fancies some money how, how much uh is know, it? well it, the, the reward is set set up for twenty thousand pounds okay um okay yeah all right, Catherine. Well, listen, as I say, our hearts go out to you, obviously. Uh, my best to your family, uh, and uh, we'll keep in touch. Thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, that's Catherine O'Sullivan, ma mother of Jack O'Sullivan. You just heard that story. Can you imagine the hell that that family, then poor uh, Mrs O'Sullivan there, what an awful thing to happen. Uh, let's hope they find him, eh?